Yeah, the Nigerian film industry, uh, in many ways, because uh, like when you get to meet people abroad, they tell you they've learned uh, some things to do with Nigerian culture. For instance, now when you go to some parts of Africa, people uh, have decided to make it like a trend uh, for someone to learn how to speak the Pidgin English, yeah. which started from Nigeria. So that's, that's a culture Nigeria is selling out to the world. And um, you never can tell what Pidgin English might be later in the world. That's one. Secondly, uh, people come to understand that um, Nigeria has diversified cultures. This is not, uh, it's not just Igbo, Hausa or Yoruba, because you might be living with someone who is Igbo and um, you have never been privileged to meet someone that is Hausa or Yoruba. But if you watch the movies, you find out that there are a lot of cultures in Nigeria. Uh, these are just a few of the things the movies have been able to do for the country. Yeah, you see, um, for anything to be in existence in a society, uh, the people living in the society have to accept it. Uh, I must say, entertainment generally in the North is still not accepted the way it should be, like it is accepted everywhere around the globe. Uh, because some people have their reservations, and um, when the issue of uh, the film village came up, a lot of the clergymen were against it, because they didn't even understand what the whole idea behind a film village is, and they revolted. In northern Nigeria, most of the things that come, people don't easily accept because of the culture, the religion, you know, of the rule of the north. I think that is what is responsible for all this. What do you have? What do you have? Yeah, everything is in Nigeria and um, <clears throat> globally when you talk about movie, the movie industry in Nigeria, in Nollywood. Yes. Uh, why we call uh, the films made in the north, Kanyewood movies, is because uh, the base one is Kano. That's where a large chunk of the Hausa movies are being made. Secondly, uh, because there's a sort of dichotomy between the, the, the film market in the north and the south. If the market was the same, then I don't think there would be that, um, by, uh, that dichotomy between the two. I'm the one that has a wife. Hello. <laughs> Please, please, just give the man what he wants to. He's not normal, please. Funny enough, Kanyewood started it. Yes. Like 15 years ago, most of the movies we make go around the cinemas first before they go on DVD. Okay. Uh, but with the advent of the Sharia law, most of the cinema houses closed down and that's what affected uh, Kanyewood in that regard. But um, <clears throat> presently, as we speak, uh, there's film house in Kanu, and um, uh, there are some other cinemas in Abuja, and we do hope that um, uh, the, 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 the cinema owners will try as much as they can to build cinemas around the north, just so we can have a very uh, big distribution cycle. Because if you don't have a big distribution cycle and you make a cinema movie, you stand to lose. That's it. Um, this will take me back to the year 2006 when I was on the set of a movie called Sitanda. It was very challenging uh, because uh, one, we, we were shooting in August, yeah? June, August, yeah. That's when we shot the movie and it was raining heavily in Joss. Sometimes we had to stay up till 3 a.m. at night. It was raining. And we had to shoot under the rain, that's one, and the costume was not helping matters because we were tiny skin around us, wearing, wearing clothes. So that that's, has been the most difficult and challenging. Baby? Yes. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Talking about getting into character, when I read scripts, I try to understand what the storyline is and secondly, what is expected of my character in the story. Now, when I do that, the next thing I do is to see if in real life there's someone I identify with such traits or character traits or habits. Then I, I try as much as I can to see 
that I acted the way I've seen that person doing. That's that's what helps me. And um, getting out of character. When they say cut, I'm out of character. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, my future project is Mansoor. Uh, I finished shooting. Uh, we just completed the post production, so we're presently trying to get a release date in the theatre. Like you just said, the trend is, is going the cinema way. So we're trying to do that too with this movie. Even though our screen count might not be much, it, it might just Kanu and um, Abuja, but then we, we just need to give it a try. Just so the distributors will understand that uh, even how some movies have their own market and they have their own audience. Cinema.